on an airplane that's been hijacked, and things will go well, and it's not looking good. I just want you to know I absolutely love you, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye, babe. I remember it like it was yesterday. The moment the world changed. This indeed was the trigger that transformed the world. I was in a taxi, driving through downtown Manhattan. A huge explosion now, raining debris on all of us. We better get out of the way! Then, the confusion. It collapsed. The top floors collapsed down. The smell of jet fuel and burned bodies. Was it Saddam or Osama? I believed everything I was told. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. But what really happened that day? The official story of 9-11 is a monstrosity. It is a insult to the intelligence. Time passed. We buried the event in our collective psyche. But has that wound really healed? Should we have believed everything we were told? The same people that told us there were weapons of mass destruction in Iraq when they knew they weren't, those very same people gave us the official story of 9-11. Exactly 18 years later, I'm going to find out by sitting down for a live broadcast with the expert on 9-11 conspiracies, David Icke. Problem, reaction, solution. First of all, you create the problem, but you get someone else to be blamed for it. You get the public to react to your problem by saying something must be done, this can't go on, what are they going to do about it? And at that point, they then offer the solution to the problems they have created. His new book, The Trigger, reveals the truth of what happened that day, and the world will never be the same again. When you sweep away the layers of propaganda, you start to see the connections and you start to see where it's going. Know the outcome and you'll see the journey. Tune in live on September 11th at 9.11 a.m. London time. Uncensored and uncut. The truth will be revealed.